getting ready to do an oil change on the Rubicon here. Just uh, letting it warm up. See so, yeah, the bison bumper on there. It's probably coming off today. Good and warm now. So I made the mistake by ordering the foot shift model oil filters instead of the DTC model filters. So you can see they're a lot bigger. A lot bigger. So I had to run to the local dealer and get some uh, get some, so I ordered two. Also got some new coolant here. Yeah, I already installed the one. It's doing pretty good. There's the old one. It's a pretty big filter. So now I'm just looking up the torque specs. 12 newton meters. So we got my torque wrench set to. So yeah, it's coming along pretty nicely. Just finishing up the maintenance on the Rubicon. Got the oil change in the engine and a new oil filter in. So now it's just changing the oil and the diffs. Um, it's going pretty good. I'm just using the 80-90 oil, pure oil. The way I do that, I just put it in this uh, soap bottle and squeeze it in there. So right now I'm just letting the back drain. Thinking about tightening up the or stiffening up the Elka shocks too. So in order to do that, there's a an Allen bolt right there, right there. So you gotta undo it. Then you can uh, turn this clamp. So I might stiffen it up a bit. Um, but I took the bison bumper off because I'm not a big fan of it and how much it sticks out. Uh, I'm not too worried about the weight. It's more it sticks out a lot farther than I like. So I'm just taking it off for now. I'm probably going to either sell it or customize that one to replace the stock bumper. But in order to do that, it means I got to move my winch, which I plan on doing. But I gotta make new brackets here and here, and it holds on the skid plate as well, so it's a lot of modification. But the plan is to get rid of this, well not get rid of it, move this uh, electrical box here for the power steering. And see if I can get it to tuck up in here. And then I want to get rid of this coolant overflow reservoir tank and move it and build my own. I have some of these stainless parts here. So anyways, have a reservoir can right here. So if I do that, that'll open up this whole area and I might move the winch up to this level anyways, just to get a little higher. So we'll see if I plan on doing that or not. Um, but I do want to get rid of this 90 and the way, the way all that's plumbed, I do not like it. So I'll see if I can run a straight length radiator hose. But really my only challenge will be right here where it has this double 90 or double 45. So that might make it kind of tight. So I don't want to be, I don't want the hose to kink. But yeah, it's going. Pretty good.